Why, hello there, everybody. This is Captain Mikey. Welcome back. Today, we are going to be playing Moss Book Number Two. Now, I have been super, super excited about this game for quite some time. A little over a year ago, I found out that Moss 2 was in development. And it did come out for the PlayStation back at the end of March. Now, finally, as of July 21st, 2022, Moss Book 2 is now on the Quest 2. And guys, I am super excited about this. If you guys haven't seen any of the Moss, like the first one, or if you don't want any spoilers, stop the video now. Go ahead and check out my Moss series that I did quite a long time ago. And I will put that up there now. But if you have watched it or you know of Moss or have played it yourself, continue on. So, before we begin, make sure you like and subscribe to my channel. As always, it takes one second to click that subscribe button. It also takes another second to click that like button. And hit that bell to keep up to date with all of my latest content. So without any further ado, let's start Moss Book Number Two. We remember you, dear reader, even if you do not remember us. You see, this is no ordinary book. Within these pages lives a hero, one who could determine all our fates. She needs a reader who knows just how important they truly are. Shall we begin? Every war in Moss begins and ends with the Five Glass. And on the Cinder Night, the Arcane tried to take them all. Sir Argus, commander of the Kingsguard, sacrificed everything that night to ensure the King's glass was safe. The sprites, too, had their own glass to protect, and their great champion did so until his final breath. The story of his glass would resume much later when young Quill of the Clearing, out on one of her humble adventures, found what the Sprite Champion concealed in death. When she showed her Uncle Argus the green glass, everything changed. He understood well the gravity of her find, and rushed off to seek counsel with the Sprites. But Argus was captured by the Arcane, and so the starving Aduran came to Quill with a promise to lead her to her uncle. Quill knew of starthings only from campfire tales of magic and mischief. Yet still, she decided to follow. Quill knew her uncle needed her, but not just her. You see, Quill was bonded by the glass to a reader a soul whose gifts proved the perfect complement to the young hero. Together, they were twofold. They embarked on a perilous journey. The Arcane's pursuit was relentless, and Quill barely survived. A Durin, who had become a friend of sorts, was not as fortunate, ending up in the jaws of Sarfog. 
Sarfog was the Arcane's most ruthless general. And at the very gates of the castle seized on that cinder knight, the two-fold heroes slayed the monstrous serpent and rescued Argus from captivity. But the Arcane do not end with Sarfog. The one who leads them will not relent until the five glass are in their clutches. And that will unravel this world. Our fate rests with Quill. She needs a true partner by her side. And we hope that is you, dear reader. So let us begin at the castle, where Quill and her uncle must brave the Arcane to retrieve the King's Glass, still hidden away after all these years. Or so they hope. And that, ladies and gentlemen, was a recap of the first game. Oh! Ghostface? You're still here? Then you should have this. You can thank me later. Or maybe before. Absolutely stunning. There's Quill. Quill searched the castle entrance for her uncle's sword. He'd insisted they'd never reach the King's Glass without it. Quill was shocked to find it hiding in plain sight. She must have missed it last time around. After all, she'd been a bit preoccupied. Together, we can accomplish anything, said Quill, looking up to her reader. I couldn't have defeated this monster without you. Thank you for being here with me. She'd left Uncle Argus alone for too long. He could be in grave danger. All right. Here we go. They had to hurry. Her poor uncle was too... Oh my god. Guys, this is an absolutely incredible. I absolutely love this series, guys. And this game is supposed to actually be longer than the first one. My god, these environments are stunning. My god. Absolutely stunning. Okay. So here we come to our first puzzle. Man. 
look at the, look at the stained glass windows. Look how beautiful they are. Statues, everything. Absolutely beautiful. And look, even little gold coins, like Spanish galleons, something. <laughs> that is so cool. Come on. There we go. Pet ya. <laughs> I love this game so much. Here we come to our first uh, secret pamphlet or whatever you call them. was relieved to find him safe. You found my sword. You wouldn't believe where it was. You know, I never realized just how huge Sarfog was. Shh, lower your voice, Quill. We're not safe. He could be anywhere. The king's glass hides beneath the throne. We must move quickly and quietly. Your reader. Are they still here? Yes, Uncle. They're right by my side. We're twofold. We aren't afraid of the arcane. I see. He said with a hint of pride. <clears throat> now, keep your ears open and your sword ready. We must get to the throne. Can you guys imagine if this was real life? Kind of venturing through these cool castles and tombs and ruins.
That's kind of creepy. No sign of the arcane here. That's what worries me. See you, but I know you're up there, reader. Please, she's in your hands now. Quill, you're far too important to risk yourself for me. The greater good must always. He was our family. He'd always come first. But she knew better than to argue. Wait a minute. Can I go around? Maybe not. Okay. There we go. Gotta break everything. On ahead. I'll stay a few steps behind. You focus on getting to the throne. I love how you can even cut the blades of grass. Oh boy. Come on, you. Come on here. I love how you can control the bad guys. I just can never get over this. Well, before I continue, is there more stuff over there? No.
You know, even though these are, these scenes are supposed to be pages of a book, I wonder if this is considered as an open world type of game. Lever. Oh, that's right. Get over there. There we go. Now that's how we do it. I didn't see one of those parchment papers. So. There's one right there. Quill was awestruck. This was the legendary throne room. The same room where her uncle was once knighted by the king. That's why it doesn't hurt to explore, guys. Ooh, can I open that door? No. That move? No. So how can I get up there now? There's the uncle. All clear. She called back to her uncle. I've waited years for this moment. By all that's good in this world, I hope it's still locked. Ha! The fools never figured it out. He snickered. Uncle Argus then turned to Quill with a wink and a smirk, and plunged his blade into the throne. His sword was the key. 
But the triumph soon faded as they descended into the eerie quietude of the secret chamber. Please be safe. Her uncle pleaded under his breath, with an air of unease Quill had never heard before. A voice barked back. I'd retreat if I were you! Dark, dark magic afoot here! One whip of my wand and a swarm of undead wasps will scour you alive! Her uncle laughed. <laughs> Barnard, don't tell me all this time alone has you communing with the dead. I... I don't have undead wasps. Total bluff! He chuckled. My dear August, I can't believe it's really you! I'm so sorry, fretted her uncle. I tried to get back to you so many times. I just couldn't kill that vicious snake. Their long-awaited embrace was cut short. August! Barnard panicked. I feel the reader's presence! The usurper followed you in! No, Barnard! This is Quill, my next of kin and a twofold champion. They slayed Sawfog. Holy whiskers on a weasel! <laughs> Barnard was stunned. I. Oh my. And there's much to discuss. Bogwart tea, anyone? Holy whiskers on a weasel? That's a good one. That's funny. Barnard spent hours recounting his years in hiding, protecting the King's Glass from the Arcane. And with Sarfog dead, that winged tyrant will tear this castle apart. He knows one glass is here. Now two? This is bad. Very bad. Not if Quill gets all five glass first, said her uncle with a grin. Madness, Argus! Barnard replied. Even a twofold cannot take on their army. Not with a ward and forging screechers and scorchers and Arthur knows what. Hogwash! Uncle Argus retorted. Quill can handle that bloated behemoth after she rallies the Sprite army. Don't you see? Once we join all the glass, there will be no arcane. Even Vader will see it our way. She must. We could unwrite them all, Barnard mused. But Arnie, the truce states the glass must remain separate. Truce be damned. We need the remaining glass to restore peace. But first, Quill must rally the sprites. It's the only way. Her uncle's belief in her and the reader swelled Quill's pride. They had a sprite army to inspire and the five glass to unite. And it all started with claiming the king's glass. Whew. Looks like I stumbled upon a treasure trove. Two down, three to go, thought Quill, excited by the adventures ahead. And look, there's a statue of a reader, which is me. Barnard was clear. 
she'd find quick passage to the sprites through the Room of Realms. This is crazy. There's nothing but a treasure trove over here. You know, I've. Was this made in Unreal Engine 4 or Engine Unreal Engine 5? What do you guys think? Let me know in the comments below. Like the King's Guard of old, Quill now felt the history of every battle her uncle led. Could almost hear her uncle's commands. <laughs> Absolutely amazing. This is crazy. Quill could see the green glow of the sprite realm radiating from the doorway ahead. Oh yeah, I see it. I know, it's not there. Forgive me, guys, but I gotta look. Is, is there a way up there? No. Anything? No. Okay. All right, let's go. Only sprites can cross here. Croaked an unseen voice. I have the green glass. I'm your champion. Oh, fine then. The voice grumbled. But no one here is calling you champion. 
That's the frog from the first one. I know that frog's a real jerk. Here we go. It was as if the castle of her people had been plucked from its roots and planted among the vibrant hues of the sprites. Quill marveled at the magic wow. of it all as she hurried to rally the sprite army. That's incredible. Getting close. There's the frog. Wow. wow. Or toad. Croak the toad. If it isn't the world's smallest snake slayer. Sarfog was only the beginning. We're here to ask Veda and the Sprites to join our fight. Impossible! The Toad scoffed. Rootseer Veda, revered leader of the Maya Sprites and astute seer of the fates and patterns of nature's purview, does not take... walk-ins. Please! Our fates depend on it! I need to speak with her. And I need... A nap. Fine. You're the champion. So prove it. Follow this little bud here. See where that leads. Then, by all means, come back here and walk right in. Now shoot. Quill found the toad's behavior curious, but the sprite bud seemed eager to help her reach Veda. I see. 
somehow these vines right here will end up getting leaves on it and then I'll be able to climb them. Eventually. All right, let's see, what am I, what am I up against here? So what's over there? Dare not do that. Oh, God. That's how it's done.
Whoa. Crazy. Dearest reader, the sprites have granted you the means to inspire growth in this world. Use this gift wisely, and Quill's path will flourish. All right. Oh, that's badass. Oh my god. That is badass. No walk-ins, huh? Quill smirked to herself, recalling the Toad's words. Now they could go back and make their own path to Veda. Awesome. Just don't fall off. Oh my god. Let's take a minute to take a look at this. Oh my god. This is incredible.
be damned. these guys again. I hate those guys. But they are useful for blowing shit up. There's this way around. Uh, oops.
That's how we do it. They were almost back. Quill couldn't wait to see that crotchety toad's expression when they walked right up to Veda's throne. Looks like you may be able to walk in and see Veda after all. Remarked the Toad smugly. Thanks for your help, Toad. Help a rodent? He croaked with exasperation. Never! <laughs> now go bother Veda if you must. I could use the entertainment. Oh, you're just jealous. Will approached Veda's throne with the confidence of a champion. Rootseer Veda! Sarfog is dead! She proclaimed. My reader and I stand before you now to ask for your help. Yes. Whoa. The winds carried swift word of your victory, Twofold. Veda replied. And for making safer our soil, we are grateful. We'd be honored to provide both you and Argus safe passage back to your home in the clearing. Thank you, Quill replied. But Moss, we'll never be safe until all the forged armies are defeated. I have been chosen to safeguard the glass, and with the sprites fighting by our side, my reader and I will claim it all and end the arcane. Veda was wide-eyed at this news, seemingly in awe. But the awe was anger. The glass cannot be joined! Veda fumed. We separated it for a reason. And now, some young, naive mouse dares to bring them together? Quill was caught off guard, but kept her composure. Times have changed! Time is repeating! Beta snapped. The last one who dared to hold these five glass toyed with all our fates. So I will help you twofold. I'll help you to restore a vital balance. Give us back the green glass. Uh-oh. Look at the peace and prosperity our realms knew before the Cinder Knight. Back when the glass was separate. Veda continued. It is your duty to keep the torched wings that dominate our skies from riding the end for us all. Quill dug in. My Uncle Argus 
Commander of the King's Guard entrusted me and my reader to restore peace. We will face the Arcane and take their glass. It's the only way. Argus is gravely mistaken, Beta seethed. Are you here to play God, reader? She shouted to the sky. Is that it? Do you think yourself wise enough to author our fates? Quill defended her partner. We'll fight this war on our own if we have to. And so you will. Let her pass, Beta ordered her soldiers. Then seal off every portal here. I had hoped you wiser than Argus, child. I pray our fates remain our own. As Quill headed back to the castle, the Toad consoled her in his own prickly way. Don't take it too hard. There's a lot going on that your tiny brain couldn't possibly comprehend. Stay safe, Furball. Well, that wasn't good. But anyway, this is where I'm going to end the episode, everybody. Thank you for watching. Like and subscribe. And stay tuned as we continue our adventures with Quill in the next episode. Bye for now, everybody.